What's up guys, Edward Tomaloso here with Hook to Cook doing this review for Been There Caught That. We have a really nice rod to review today. It's a rod that I've been using all rockfish season and I originally got it so that I could take advantage of those Dorado that came in and I didn't have it when I was fishing for those or the yellowtail, but I definitely got to put in a lot of work with the rockfish, link cod, vermilion red rockfish. And the reason I got it too was because of the hookup baits and I used to fish specifically casting setups with a low profile bait caster setup. But the problem was when I was sending down those hookup baits on the donkey rig, it would go down very, very slowly or I had to control it a lot more. But today's rod that we're reviewing is the Phoenix Black Diamond 808 spinning rod. This is rated from 15 pounds to 40 pounds. It's under the class graphite. It's actually carbon fiber and Phoenix boasts that they use a specific proprietary resin to make this strong and light. And like I was saying, I really wanted to use this for Dorado and the Yellowtail doing live bait fishing because it's a lot easier to cast a spinning setup versus a casting setup when you're throwing baits that are less than half an ounce sometimes. Sometimes you get those small sardines and you really got to get it out there. On a casting setup, you can't really get it that far. And then also on a spinning setup, like I mentioned on the hookup baits, when you open that bale on a we spinning really setup, so your line just flows right through. So this setup has been amazing for those lingcod and rockfish trips that, that we've been doing, especially with the style that we've been going with. And that eight foot range is perfect. It's still manageable for being on a boat. And I pair this with a 55 series Quantum Reliance. This thing's a workhorse, takes minimal maintenance, just wash it off at the end of the trip. It's built to be corrosion resistant and they have this at Been There Caught That as well as the Black Diamond spinning setups. I will leave a link below where you can go to Been There Caught That's website or you can give them a call. I'll leave the number right there. Ultimately, I'm really excited to continue to use this. Uh, I've used it for quite a few trips now. I do have 40 pound test braid on this setup right here, and it's definitely been very manageable. And since it is a graphite rod, it's super sensitive. So I really don't get hung up that much. And if I do get hung up, what's beautiful about this rod is the action is pretty moderate. It's not like extra fast or anything. So if I do get buried into a rock when I'm rock fishing, I just give it slack and kind of give it a couple like half power or quarter power like little pops. And then the weight of the lure itself will drop off. Because if you were using a rod that was like a little bit more oh, stiff, it's easier to set that hook yeah. point into a rock and then you're just oh, stuck solid. for good and you got to kiss your setup goodbye. When you're using oh, baits that are really big expensive, big you definitely want to be able to finesse, more finesse that oh, bait out oh, of the oh, sticky oh, situation. Oh, so again, this is the Phoenix Black Diamond spinning setup, eight foot, 15 to 40. I've again been using it probably the last uh, few months and I just have such high reviews for it and I can definitely say that this is definitely a rod that I'm excited to have in my arsenal because it is so versatile. I can go from rockfish to yellowtail on this thing and it really doesn't take a whole lot of maintenance as well. So if you guys are interested, again, the link is below, but that is my review on the Phoenix Black Diamond spinning setup. Love this rod and they do have them here at Been There Caught That.